I'm <laughs> looking back at my video. This mic was in my titties, so if it looks weird, sorry. this in the past but I was very interested in kickboxing very very long time ago random thought I just thought it would be really cool and when I was working out at the co-ed gym location I saw this sign or this promotion saying that there's kickboxing classes going on so I decided to join and now that I'm enrolled I have plenty of goals I want to work on my cardio I don't do anything for cardio it's very very bad I need to focus on my breath control, I need to focus on my endurance and stamina, and one thing I also wanted to work on was my balance and my core workouts because ever since I went back into the gym, I barely ever do core workouts. I just hate them, even though they used to be my favorite thing ever. They're just really tedious to me and it seems more like an accessory. Obviously it's not, it's very important to all the exercises and I thought if I try the kickboxing class, it's a perfect opportunity to strengthen my core because the way this boot camp works, it's five minutes of three different stations. The first station is with the kickboxing glove, the second station is with the trainer, and the third station is leg conditioning workouts and you do that for about 45 minutes and then you do 15 minutes of core strengthening um, when you're done and then after that we stretch i love weightlifting i'll probably never ever quit that but i do want to try something new so that i can stay excited about being fit and moving and to put the cherry on top it is a woman's only class which is amazing because if it was with men i'd probably be too intimidated and on top of that it is nice because we can use it as self-defense we can use it as a confidence booster and it's nice to see other women empowering each other and finding strength in that I usually don't like to weigh myself because it can get kind of toxic, but I stepped on a Tanita scale which measures a bunch of things including body fat percentage. Obviously I'm going to take this with a grain of salt because it's not the most accurate thing ever. However, it is nice to have it and look at my progress. Even if it isn't 100% because it's still showing me a bird's eye view of what I'm doing. My current body fat percentage is 27% which is healthy but I'm gonna see if I can try and bring it down to 22. So okay listen, I went to the doctor to do a check-in but it's been like 10 years since I last got a blood test run. I think it's very, very important for everyone to see how they're doing because I was humbled. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when you live a healthy lifestyle, aka when you work out, you kind of have that mindset where you're like, I'm good, and you don't think shit happens to you. Shit can happen to you. So I got my result back, and there was a couple things to take note of. <laughs> she calls me back, she's like, yeah, there's nothing really much to worry about except for these couple things. So it turns out I am on the borderline of high testosterone, which makes complete sense. So we're gonna watch out for that, and since I've been on birth control on and off, and I've been kind of fucking around with it, I can't really complain that much because my body is just regulating to everything So we're gonna wait a, a couple more months to see what we need to do for that stuff I did get an ultrasound back in 2021 to see if I had any cysts or PCOS Everything came back fine so I honestly think it's just something that I have to manage through nutrition and lifestyle I found out my iron levels
levels are okay, but my iron storage isn't. The iron storage is how much backup iron you have. Apparently, I am severely, <laughs> I am severely deficient, so I need to start taking more iron supplements, which I forgot to pick up, which is so annoying. She told me that a steak once a week would work. I'm not doing that. I can't really stand red meat. And then she told me that I was severely low on vitamin D, which makes sense. <laughs> because I literally don't go out. I just work out, sleep, and work. I'm trying to go out for more walks, but I like to go when the sun isn't as hot outside. But anyway, she's like, yeah, usually the average vitamin D scale on average is around like 100, so you're at 30. <laughs> My vitamin C deficiency is so severe. I literally have to go to a pharmacy for vitamin D medication. Over-the-counter isn't enough. <laughs> I need something prescribed for vitamin D. And I think that's really sad. <laughs> I mean, it's not just the sun itself and being outside, but it's more like leafy greens. I went to the grocery store and the first thing I picked up was kale. I obviously know this isn't gonna solve all my issues, but I need to start getting into the habit of eating healthy again, making sure that I'm nurturing my body properly. And now that I'm doing this whole kickboxing program thing, I really want to lose weight and continue to decrease my body fat percentage and just get lean as hell. It would be nice to build up these habits and maintain them during the busier season. So first of all, I'm going to start meal prepping again. I'm going to focus on eating greens, maintaining my protein intake, and making sure that I eat enough to fuel my workouts. Okay. So, kale, beautiful. I honestly love kale. I'm lucky it's an acquired taste and I like the taste of kale. But I also purchased some baby arugula, which I fucking love. I love arugula so much. I'm not even kidding. I could. I don't even need dressing for arugula. I would just eat it as it is. I love arugula. So I mix the kale and the arugula together. I basically bought a whole rotisserie chicken. I tore out all the meat and put it in this container here so it's easy to grab and go and put into my salads. And ideally, I would like to put in more color into my salad. I'll be honest, I'm so lazy. <laughs> I don't put stuff together and it actually tasted really good. Okay, and then I also bought some bananas yeah okay i did a workout today and i ate one banana half a scoop of pre-workout for my leg day and i was lifting two plates i like to have these before my workout it's cherry season but there's no cherries i think that's sus anyways the world is ending and we all know that i bought some milk because i'm gonna be making the protein pasta two percent 18 grams of protein i also need to start making coffee at home again <laughs> Because I have been spending money on coffee when it's completely unnecessary. Yeah, that's my little grocery haul. I am going to meal prep today. Moral of the story is get a checkup with your doctor because you would be surprised and you will be humbled.
Okay, a little chit chat with me. I feel like I'm riding. <laughs> milking this whole discipline thing because honestly it is very very important to me but i have so much to say about discipline and self-love i don't think i really talked about it much but i just wasn't feeling myself shit just wasn't right <laughs> i don't know how else to say it i just wasn't feeling well but then i just slowly started to do things started to actually like focus on myself and focus on what makes me feel good and what makes me feel proud of myself this is gonna sound really stupid but it's always my tried and true the gym being active there's so many different things that you can do that you can experiment with that will help you with your mental and physical health so what i found worked for me was taking the time to slow down a little bit anyways i wasn't lifting as heavy so i was just going with the slow movements that turned out to be probably one of the greatest things that i've done in the past couple months when it came to my fitness goals because the slow but controlled movement that increasing your time under tension will still make a difference because i was still staying consistent i felt like my workouts were half-assed not a surprise but any workout is a good workout i was actually growing muscle so i started to fall in love with fitness again because i'm like wow i'm actually achieving my goals i'm actually growing i'm actually making a difference in my body not gonna lie the body dysmorphia got to me a little bit i maintained my consistency with the gym but the physical thing is one thing but the mental aspect of training your discipline and looking back at what you were going through and just being so proud of yourself for keeping your own word to yourself that's another thing that i don't think a lot of people talk about committing to myself and actually seeing the outcome and feeling the rewards that just made me feel 10 times better <laughs> i continued to do some hot yoga when i felt like i really needed to just relax and stretch and give my body a rest and then i did something new kickboxing i suck <laughs> it humbles me so much and i look like an idiot that's okay you know because those are some skills i am willing to refine my hand-eye coordination trash being more mindful of how weak my core is was very humbling overall it's just a good workout total body it works on your core it works on your focus it works on your balance and the mind muscle connection i will notice a difference in my weightlifting routine i always wanted to do kickboxing i thought it was so badass and now i'm doing kickboxing <laughs> and now i'm being humbled more than ever i even got the straps for it my trainer has her own boxing gloves that she provides during the classes but since it you know it's a boot camp there's two other people with me so we're going to be sharing gloves it's just hard to be sanitary so she recommended me to buy these wraps which will help with the boxing glove and the sweat and the punches and the tension so i bought these on amazon and i feel so official but yeah i'm really really happy i'm very very excited to see what i will learn the skill sets i will refine i think it's so cool i think it's so fun and I'm just so proud of myself for doing something new, for going out of my comfort zone. I was going to do it on my own, but then I told my sister about it. Got her into it, so we're both doing kickboxing classes. I'm finding things that will help me realign and help me focus on myself again. I was more focused on situations, on my emotions, my experiences that I haven't really been as present as I would like. Okay, so since we've discussed that this is going to be a talking vlog, I did want to talk a little bit about this podcast that I've been listening to on my Hot Girl Summer Walk by Leo Skip Skeppy. I like the way he thinks. It really makes you feel like that bitch you know, you know what i mean his mindset is something that i'm striving towards the very first episode that i listened to was called lack of discipline makes you ugly one theme that i'm really big on right now aligning my action to grow into that person i want to be now that i'm putting in the effort to do things that align with ideal future self it feels really good now manifestation feels like it's gonna come really really easy to me it just makes sense like why wouldn't this happen or why wouldn't i achieve that i think i've also been struggling in the past couple months because i've had this strong desire for something to change in my life but i didn't really know how to trigger that opportunity when you know you're focusing on yourself the best way i could describe it is that you have tunnel vision and you feel very very confident in what you're doing you're acting out of purpose effortlessly actually changing my daily routine has been providing me that change that i was looking for anyway, we'll continue these little diaries throughout the week i hope you guys enjoy i am trying to stay 
consistent with it and i really really appreciate everything you guys do for me the comments the views the vibes thank you so much for watching legit thank you i'm <laughs> looking back at my video this mic was in my titties so if it looks weird sorry